In Surrey, Christine has one very big problem. Max, her two-year-old St Bernard, doesn't know his own strength. He will just suddenly dart, and when you've got a 12-stone dog on the end of a lead, um, you kind of go with him. Sorry! <laughs> I couldn't hold him! Oh. He has caused me some serious injuries in the past. He's pulled me over a metal fence and almost severed my finger. Again, he caught me off guard and I fell. I um, got a slip disc and I had to have surgery. I, and this is all in about 18 months. Funny enough, my surgeon said to me, get rid of the dog. Well, that would be the last resort. You're my second to last resort. And that, that's a lot of pressure mm. because I can't make him any smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he just smells something, he'll jerk and... Yeah, he catches. jerks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her reluctant solution is a choke collar, which tightens if Max makes a run for it. If he sees something, he will just dart, and then I've got no control so, over him. So, really, this collar that you put on is not for walking, really, it's for when he darts yes. at something. With a normal leather collar, um, I, he, he would just go, uh, whereas this tends to restrain him a little bit. Yeah. I'm not saying that I agree with this, but... I don't like these collars, I'm telling you right now, just I, for the I, damage I, that they can yeah. do. Not only could the collar injure Max's neck, there's also risk to his thyroid and salivary glands, which means finding a safer way to stop him darting. The first step of this new order is making Max's daily walk a safer experience. Follow. Good boy. So it's out with the choke collar and in with a high-tech lead and front clip harness. So this is like the reins of a horse. This is going to help you because when he pulls, his, his <laughs> chest is going to come round. Let's go. Here. So he wants to pull. I just pull back on it a little bit. I'm not yanking him. I'm not jerking him. He'll actually sit. Gosh. Meanwhile, making a right turn requires a cue Max already understands. Heel. When he turns with me, I'm going to tell him, good boy. Heel. You can see that he's beginning to follow my body. Max, heel. Good boy. If I want to turn left, I'm going to turn left. Left. Good boy. And then when we turn to the right, we go heel. Yes, good boy. So soon, you'll just say left, and his body will start turning. But if Max gets distracted... Max! ..by the likes of ducks or geese, then out comes Victoria's secret weapon. I've got something here that I can go... <laughs> All right, Christine, go for it. Heel. Good boy, Max. If you're going to turn left, tell him. Left. Good. Good boy. Relax your arms. That's it. There you go. So I could feel I took the strength away from him. Yeah. Nice. Good boy, Max. I felt so much more in control. Don't think I'll ever be using a choke chain again. Heel. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels much better, I have to be honest. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Good. What happens if he sees something and you think he might go? Um, I'm going to be the distraction. I've got the squeaky toy to get his attention. Yes. That's key. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, it's going to help you so much. I certainly felt the anxiety go away. I felt so much more in control. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.